being sealed by God. And so these 144,000 Jews who are going through the great tribulation, uh, they find a type in Moses, I mean in Noah. Uh, but you remember Enoch. He walked with God and he was not because God took him. But before God took him, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Enoch becomes a type of the church who is raptured before the great tribulation and thus does not have to go through the great tribulation, whereas Noah, a type of the 144,000, sealed of God to go through the great tribulation. So after this, John said, I beheld, and lo, there was a great multitude which no man could number of all nations, kindreds, people, and tongues. And they stood before the throne and before the Lamb, and they were clothed with white robes, and they had palms in their hands. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And the angels stood round about the throne, about the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell before the throne on their faces, and they worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing, glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, honor, and power, and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Uh, it's interesting, we do get uh, insights into the worship in heaven. It's interesting to note that all of the worship is directed towards God and towards Jesus Christ. Uh, as we sing, the Lamb is all the glory in Emmanuel's land. There's one thing that we must be careful of, and that is trying to take glory in ourselves or glory in our accomplishments or even glory in what God has done in or through our lives. One of the quickest ways to bring an end to the anointing of God upon your life is to take credit for what God has done. God does want to work. God desires to work. God uses human instruments to accomplish his work. And as the prophet Hanani said to Asa the king, don't you know that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the entire earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are toward him? Don't you know that God wants to work? Don't you know that God is looking for people through which he can work? But when God does work through an individual, God wants the glory for the work that he has done and not the glory to the individual. So if you find that you are blessed and God is using your life, make certain that you don't take the glory for what God has done, but that you give the glory to God. There is a constant and prevalent danger of people seeking to take glory that belongs to the Lord. You remember in the book of Acts when Peter and John were going into the temple at the hour of prayer and there was that lame man there who was seeking alms. And uh, Peter said, look on us. And the fellow reached out expecting to get a coin and Peter said, don't have silver and gold, but what I have I'll give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stand to your feet and walk. Peter took him by the right hand, lifted him to his feet, and immediately the man began to walk, began to jump up and down, 
began to run around and grabbed hold of Peter so that all of the people said, isn't that the lame man who's been there at the gate all these years? And it said, sure looked like him. And they came around Peter, gathered a huge crowd as this man was holding on to Peter. And they related somehow that with his joy and excitement, they related the miracle of his walking to Peter. And uh, Peter, when he saw that they were trying to give adulation to him, said, ye men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why do you look upon me as though I or, or us, John and I, through our own righteousness have done this good deed to the lame man? Be it known unto you that it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you denied in the presence of Pilate, and you delivered him to be crucified, it is by him and through his name that this man stands here before you all. But they were ready to worship Peter. They were ready to give credit to Peter, to give glory to Peter for what was done to that lame man. And uh, he was used as an instrument of God, but he was wise enough not to let the people worship him or hold him up in high esteem, but I'm just an instrument. God used me, and it was the Lord, and to give the glory to God for the things that God does. And so uh, here we find that uh, the praise and the worship to God there in heaven, uh, the, this uh, great multitude that uh, John sees uh, from all of the nations and families and people and tongues standing before the throne uh, and before the Lamb clothed in their white robes, palms in their hands, and crying with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God, which sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And the angels join into the worship uh, along with the cherubim and the elders, and they say, Amen. Blessing, glory, wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Now one of the elders, John said, asked me, who are these who are arrayed in the white robes, and where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir, thou knowest. Uh, in a modern vernacular, he would say, search me. I mean, I don't know. And uh, so he then tells John, these are they which came out of the great tribulation. They've washed their robes, made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Now going back to the uh, sixth or the fifth seal, verse 9 of chapter 6. Here is this multitude in heaven, and they are under the altar. They were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, uh, that you not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? White robes were given to the, every one of them, and it was said to them that they should rest for yet a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren which should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. It would appear that these, this multitude in heaven are those who were under the fifth seal uh, calling for God to uh, bring them into the uh, heavenly scene uh, they were under the altar and sealed, uh, or they were under the altar and calling for how long uh, before we can join in. Uh, as we read of them here, they came out of the great tribulation. They've washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So, uh, you have that uh, 
back, you know, in, in the fifth seal, those were given white.